Hi there, welcome to one of our two minute tip videos. In this video, we're gonna be looking at ISO sensitivity settings within the Nikon Z series cameras. So as you'll probably know, ISO is one of the four key camera controls being ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and white balance. The Z series, like most DSLRs, can help us get the balance right across these controls, but only if you set it up right. So let's look at how it can help us in relation to the ISO sensitivity. Okay, let's start with the settings in the photo shooting menu. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the first page, we'll see ISO sensitivity settings. If we go into there, then the first setting there, ISO sensitivity, allows us to choose what our ISO is in the camera. If we then come down to auto ISO sensitivity control, this allows us to basically turn on the automatic um, balancing that the camera will do when we're in program or aperture mode to try and balance the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO to get the right exposure. If we set it to on, then it gives us a series of other options that we can set in the menus here. The next two settings down, maximum sensitivity and maximum sensitivity with flash, allow you to set the maximum ISO sensitivity the camera will go up to in order to try and balance the shutter speed and the aperture with the ISO. I tend to set it at 6400 because I'd rather have a little bit more noise in my image but a sharp image than a um, blurred image but with lower noise. You can actually correct the noise, whereas you can't correct the vibration. The next setting down, minimum shutter speed, is really where it's important to get your settings right. If you imagine you're in program mode or aperture mode and you've, say, set your aperture to f4 and the light is dropping, what the camera will do initially is lengthen the shutter speed to try and balance the exposure. However, as the shutter speed gets longer, you run the risk of getting blurry images. Um, and there's a rule of thumb, which you probably know, which is you really shouldn't shoot any slower than the inverse of the focal length of the lens you're using. So if you're shooting with a 50 mil lens, then you really shouldn't go below 1 50th of a second. So what you would do is you would select from this menu, you'd scroll down and choose 1 50th of a second. If, however, you're using a zoom lens, as so many of us are quite a lot, if you're moving between, say, 24 and 70, you've got to keep changing this from 1 24th of a second to 1 70th of a second. Now, if you select auto, this is where the camera can really help you, because what the camera can do is work out what's the focal length you're shooting at, and it will automatically set the minimum shutter speed to be the inverse of that focal length. Now what you'll see here is a scale on the screen. Now if it's set to the middle setting, then it will try and it will set the minimum shutter speed to the inverse of the focal length. If you move it across one set one notch, then it will set it to one over two times the focal length of the lens you're shooting with. And if you move it across two settings, it will set it to one over four times the focal length. And if you go to the slower side, it will obviously do the reverse. Now, what I found with the D850 is because of the megapixels, the size of the sensor, what you had to do to try and maximize your chances of a really crisp image was actually to set the setting here to probably one notch across to the right. So actually the camera would always try and um, set the minimum shutter speed to one over two times the focal length. So for example, if you're shooting at uh, 50 millimeters, rather than it setting it to one fiftieth of a second, it would set it to one one hundredth of a second. So what the camera will do in balancing the exposure is it will lengthen the shutter speed until it hits that minimum shutter speed, and then it will start increasing the ISO. So now we've got auto ISO sensitivity control set up in the menus, we can easily turn it off and on from the ISO button on the top of the camera. So if you press the ISO button down and rotate the front control dial, it will turn auto ISO on and off. And if you rotate the rear dial, it will change the ISO level. 
I hope you found this useful. Let us know how you've got your ISO sensitivity set up in your camera in the comments below. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. 